everybody. It's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me for a new simple stamping video. Hey, today we're going to talk techniques. I want to teach you today about a technique called faux leather. Guys, this is so easy, let me tell you, because you know around here we do keep things simple. And I don't think you can probably see it from there, but what we've got going on here, that rich Ravelberry strip has been created and crumbled and designed to look like leather. It's a very simple card. I've got a stepped up version for you as well, but we're going to start with a simple card today. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and go over the cardstock you need for today's fall card. My card base today is in Mossy Meadow. I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter inch. For this card, I'm going to use designer series paper, and this is from the Come Together designer series paper. It is cut four inches by five and a quarter. I thought Rich Razzleberry complimented that paper nicely. I've got a piece of Rich Razzleberry, two inches by five and a half inches. And nothing says fall like this gorgeous crushed curry, two and three quarter by two and three quarter square. And then we'll need some very vanilla. I have a piece here that is one and a half by two and a quarter, that's for my sentiment. And then for the inside, four inches by five and a quarter. The star of the show is the Gather Together stamp set. This one is perfect for all your fall cards. I loved this great big leaf, and I definitely love the sentiment Gather Together, but we're gonna be stamping some sentiments on the inside as well. Because we're creating a faux leather look, we need to prep this uh, Rich Razzleberry cardstock. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring in a Stampin' Spritzer, and I have this filled with rubbing alcohol. Uh, the percentage of the rubbing alcohol doesn't matter, but we're just going to spritz both sides of this cardstock with rubbing alcohol. And then I'm gonna crumble it. I'm gonna kind of take some aggression out on me. You know, when you get frustrated, the kids are driving you nuts, the dog threw up on the rug instead of the tile, you know, those things. That's what we're gonna take our frustrations out on. We're gonna just kind of mangle this and crumple it. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of lay it out. Here we go. Now you see it is still very wet. And that is fine. While it is still wet, we're gonna do a little tearing. So let's do just a little tearing here on the edge. And I'm not tearing a lot, just a little, but it's gonna tear very easily. So don't, don't go working at it too fast. But we're just gonna tear off one edge, one long edge, there we go. Now, while I continue to work on my card, I'm gonna set this aside so that rubbing alcohol can dry. Let me tell you why I chose rubbing alcohol. It dries quickly. So this will dry a little faster than water. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, water will work. Don't feel like you can't use that, but I just really like how rubbing alcohol works. I'm gonna zoom the camera in. Can you see the uh, faux leather look that's starting to appear there? It's gonna get even bolder once these kind of big blobs here start to dry. All right, let's go ahead and do our stamping while that card stock's drying. I have got a Crush Curry ink pad and that great big leaf. We're going to stamp that right here in the center of our Crush Curry card stock. Now, I still have ink on my stamp. I'm going to bring in my uh, four by five and, a, uh, five and a quarter, very vanilla. And I'm going to stamp that second generation. So I haven't re-inked it. You notice I get a nice light um, ink coverage right there. I want that because now we can come in with our Mossy Meadow ink pad and I've put my sentiments, I put both of them out, um, on the same block just to make things go a little quicker. And so I'm gonna ink the sentiment, both of those up in Mossy Meadow and we'll stamp that right on top of the leaf. See, that looks really, really nice. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our small piece of very vanilla and we're going to stamp gather together right in the center. All right, I have everything ready. Now, there are two different ways you can do this card. If you'd like, you can fussy cut out the leaf or you can order the uh, seven piece die set. These are awesome. I wanna point out these three here. These actually uh, leave great impressions into the leaves, very realistic. But this one here, you'll notice it matches this leaf perfectly. So if you do have a die cutting machine, you can use the dies, but remember, there's always fussy cutting. But how about for this first card, we just leave it alone. Let's go ahead and leave it as a square and see what we get. All right, we're gonna take our designer series paper 
and add a little snail on the back. And then we can add this to the front of our Mossy Meadow cardstock. I'll add my inside of my card with my sentiment. There we go. My Rich Raspberry cardstock is dry. And one thing you're gonna notice is it has shrunk in size. Well, you know, we've done all this crumpling and things, so it has reduced in size. So if you see that it's a little bit long, you can trim it down. And I think I'm gonna trim off maybe just about an eighth of an inch there. Yep, just a little hair. It's not going to take much, but I did want it to be the same size as my card or my designer series paper. Now, when you create the faux leather look, you're going to have to get a little heavy with the snail because you get a lot of lumps and bumps going on here. And we want to make sure it adheres down really well. All right, we're going to line this up right along the edge of that designer series paper. We'll adhere that. For this one, I'm not going to fussy cut the leaf. I'm going to leave it as a square. So I want you to see a very simple version, but I'll show you a stepped up version here in just a minute. So let's adhere our leaf. Now our sentiment, we're actually going to bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals. You've heard me talk about Stampin' Dimensionals. They're a very affordable way to adhere things, but they give this great dimension and it really steps up a card from an ordinary card to a wow card. So we're just gonna remove these paper backings and we can add our sentiment right there. So again, the simplified version, very, very pretty. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit, you could come in with some Cajun Craze linen thread. This comes in the come together ribbon combo. Let me show you how to add that little bow. I'm going to take a mini glue dot and I'm just gonna roll it into a little tiny ball because this is a little tiny bow. And I'm just going to add that right here next to the word gather. And then I can just press my little linen thread bow right on top. So that's just another little accent, but I think it really steps up the card. All right, now let me show another stepped up version. Because you know, I always love to show you two different versions of the card. So here you can see, I did use the dies to cut out my leaf. And then I chose to do a punch. This is the tailored tag punch for my sentiment. And then of course added my bow inside of my card is the same, but I wanted you to be able to see a little bit different version. So there you go. Whether you prefer the very simplified version for my beginners, or maybe you don't have a lot of supplies yet, that first card is a very simple one to create. But if you want to add the dies, or maybe you want to just fussy cut out that leaf, that's an option too. And that Taylor tag punch really kind of gave it a little more, um, just a little more personality, I think. So I thought the cards turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed them too. Now, if you want more information about my cards, you can head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the October 19th, 2019 blog post. That's where I'll have photos of the cards. I'll have the measurements for you there. And any of the supplies that I used on the card today, you can order them right there. It's so easy. You just click a pick. It's going to take you right to my online store and you can order what you need there. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed the faux leather technique, and that's a technique you're going to give a try here in the future. Hey, if you enjoyed the video today, would you give me a thumbs up on YouTube? I always appreciate that, and YouTube always appreciates it too. They like to know what you want to see, and I hope you want to see more stamping inspiration. Now, if you have not already taken a moment to subscribe, this is a great day to click that great big red subscribe button. Click that button. YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video, and I would love to stay with you again. All right, my friends, that's all for me today. Have a fabulous one. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.